Hello scholars, so I'm not at home recording today, I'm actually in my office over at Roger Williams University. Uh, I think some of you know this, but in case you didn't, I teach in-person classes at Roger Williams, and if any of you are ever interested in visiting, you're welcome to come over. I'll meet you up for lunch, or set you up with a tour of the missions, I'd be happy to talk to you about campus uh, for transfer purposes. Um, Interestingly enough, uh, Willow is actually allowed here in my office. We have a great pet policy where faculty and staff can bring their pets to the office. But she is a pretty big dog that uh, is really very interested in everything in new situations, so she would be kind of distracting to anybody that came by, which I suppose would be part of the point. Um, Sorry I didn't have this posted on Monday, as I told you in the email that I sent out on Monday evening. We were traveling back from a funeral. A friend of mine passed away unexpectedly on sat uh, <coughs> over break, and uh, it's I'm struggling with it a little bit. Of course, uh, he was 36 and had just gotten married in September, and I had meant to reach out to him a couple of weeks ago because I'm teaching a music class here at Roger Williams, and we're doing a lot of work with indigenous hip hop because it's. Uh, I'm talking about like colonization and decolonization through the gaze of music and how can we like how can we bring back old sounds and music and so we've been talking a lot about indigenous hip hop and my friend studied uh, in he studied transcendental hip hop in English literature so just a really fascinating guy um, but I decided I just wanted to let him have his first Thanksgiving alone with the two families I thought he was going to be busy and he probably was but Reach out to your friends. Don't don't wait. Uh, I'm really struggling with this idea that I, I could have had one more conversation with this good friend of mine, and I didn't take the opportunity to do it. And I'm really regretting it. So, like, I'm... <laughs> You know, as we often do in these situations, I'm making a list of people that I want to be sure and reach out to soon because I haven't spoken to them in a while or because I want to get their thoughts on some things. So I hope you'll do the same. We're in the middle of two major holidays. People are very busy. You are very busy. But if we don't take the time to make sure the people we care about know we care about them, then we're probably doing us and them, and them a disservice. All right, well... Let me go off my soapbox, and uh, uh, like usual, there's three things due this week. We've got uh, the usual smart book chapter, and then we've got a journal and a project. And both of these are geared towards getting you ready for that final presentation. That's most of what we're going to do over the next few weeks as we finish up the class. Uh, so take a look at these. Let me know what questions you have. I've, I've fielded a couple questions already this week, so I know that maybe as we build the course out before the semester, and by we, I mean the department, as they built this course out for the semester. Not everything is as perfect as they wanted it to be. So uh, I'm making adjustments as they come up, and I, I feel like it's something we can do and implement. And for everything else, I am marking down some stuff to pass on to the department when we go into version 2.0 of the class. Um, I hope you have a great week, folks. Uh, watch out. Later in the week, I will try and get next week up. I want to work a little bit ahead for you as we get in these last few weeks because I know you just got so much going on. So I will try and release stuff a, at least a half week, if not a week earlier here for the rest of the semester. Um, soon I'll have information on the final exam. I assume it's going to be the same as the midterm exam, but I have not received any information about it. Um, promise you'll know as soon as I know. So uh, as usual, I'll see you online very soon, and I hope you have a great week.